Um, uh, was very, very um, solid tonight. I felt very good from the first few games and uh, was uh, on top of the ball. So I think I'm very confident from last week as well. So um, I knew it was going to be very difficult tonight from the start because we've never hit a ball with each other, never practiced, never played points. So it's not always easy. But um, you know, I felt I played pretty solid today. Yeah. Well, yeah, I did. Second round in uh, Brisbane was big. It was two hours forty-five, and I think against K it was also a very tough match. And round it, just, it was a lot of tennis to play. So I was a little bit doubtful whether I'd be ready for here. But um, I got the Wednesday start, which was very good, and uh, you know felt good the last few days. Uh, did a few less things, but um, did the right things, and was on court today. It was feeling very good, so I'm very positive. And you made a full straight quarter finals here in Sydney. Well, I think always um, looking back, it was my first title here, so the memory is always there, and uh, with the memories comes the confidence playing on the court, and uh, I feel so good on that court. So um, every time I step out on that court, I know um, this is where it all started for me. This is uh, an amazing feeling, a feeling to be on the court, and uh, it makes me play the the best, brings out the best tennis in me, and uh, I enjoy it every time I, uh, I step out on Ken Mills Arena. So it looks like you're getting some more balls than you probably would have got to the past. Is that a physical thing? Or yeah, um, no, more physical. I think I'm learning uh, to move better on the court. Um, you know, I think uh, it's not just uh, when you look at the great players now, they're, they're on top of every ball, even in defense and even in attack. They're, their position, their court uh, position is always on every ball. So I'm trying to, uh, you know, focus on my movement in the defensive uh, when I get there to be in balance, to be more strong. And, uh, you know, I'm feeling very good. It's uh, coming all well, but there's a lot to go and I know I can improve a lot more. Yeah, well, it, for me, it's better to play people that I haven't played against, you know, and that they've never practiced with me. But the problem is, with me and Gabriel should have practiced so many times together. So a match can be different, you know. I prefer playing someone that's uh, new because they don't know what I'm going to do and they don't know uh, how I play. So it's an advantage, but uh, it can also be difficult for me because uh, Gabriel is very, very. Very, very talented. He comes out and uh, all with every match, nothing to lose, plays aggressive, and he's beaten top players in the past. I've watched, so I have to be ready. When you got a female players that got injured and been down, so I don't think they probably were playing. A lot of the males also sort of taking the week off. What for you, is this an ideal preparation for you to sort of keep them in the title and go into the development of the future? Absolutely. I think uh, I'm young. I'm still 23, and uh, I have to play as much tennis as I can. And uh, every tournament for me, I'll look at now trying to win. And uh, here is a chance uh, also to to maybe win. But uh, you know, maybe it's not the smartest idea playing before the Grand Slam, especially with my seed now. Um, you know, I think if I won this tournament, I'd only go up a spot. So. It's not very difficult, you know. You have to play the bigger tournaments now. Um, you have to perform well in the Grand Slams, the Masters, to get to move up uh, close to the top ten, and it, and it just shows, I think. Uh, but at the end of the day, you play for titles, and uh, uh, I play for titles. The more in my career I can win, the better. And uh, I love Sydney so much, so I'm happy to be here. Hey, you know, uh, I think it excites me very uh, well. It. Uh, you know, it gives me an opportunity now playing, uh, you know, I think 17 to 24 seeds in the third round. But there's a dangerous floaters out there as well, first round, second round that you can get. So um, it can be difficult as well. So hopefully I get the right draw to, to save energy to play well in the first few rounds and uh, conserve that energy getting to that third, fourth round. Because what I've noticed, uh, you know, the past year or so, you need to get to those third, fourth rounds and be ready and physically fresh because you have to beat the top players and uh, you have to be physically ready. And if you play tough matches first, first round, second round, it's not a good, not a good uh, thing. Yeah, absolutely. I think with uh, better fitness, better movement, become more confident on court, and that's what I always needed. I needed. Uh, um, I mean, I look, I also say another thing because you know I had the surgeries in 2000 and uh, when was it? 2014. After the, the and this was uh, this was not a surgery to um, 
that I needed. This is something that uh, yeah, I chose. It was going to benefit me in the long run. It's whether I did it at the period uh, of 21 or doing it at 26, 27, when I had problems in my hips, but I felt like I needed to do it at that time because I'd recover quicker. It only took me three, four, four months to recover as opposed to if I did it at 28, it would have taken me six, seven months. So I knew that whole 2014 period from uh, from when I came back in June is going to be a struggle. I somehow managed to win a tournament there in Colombia on hardcore, which is my fourth, fifth tournament back, which was truly, for me, remarkable. Um, but then, you know, last year, I think, uh, you know, playing on tour strengthened my hips a lot and uh, and my lower back in that area because it's not easy having two hip uh, uh, surgeries in that spot. So I was happy to play that amount of tennis last year that strengthened, uh, strengthened my hips, my lower back, and uh, it's showing now the, how, how it paid off. Where are you now like in terms of what you could potentially lose after the surgery? What, at what stage are you now? Well, I think, um, uh, you know, I feel so good. I think the first six months coming back uh, from the surgery that was sort of the last, you know, four or five months on tour of 2040, that was, uh, it was tough. Uh, like I said, I won the tournament, but I still didn't feel that good. I felt my hips. I was scared to perform, to play many tournaments. So, you know, somehow I managed that 2014 to be, you know, 60, 50 in the world, uh, sorry, 60 in the world. So I think 2015 came uh, and I was, uh, uh, each match I played, each tournament I played longer, I became more physically stronger and more confident. Confident, I think, uh, due to the fact that I did uh, those operations, it's helped me so much now. Are you, are you surprised by the, um, the spate of withdrawals and illnesses that are happening this early in the season with so many players, given that theoretically everyone should be coming in an off season rested and fresh? And maybe how are you, how are you personally feeling at this stage of the season? Absolutely. I think uh, we've all seen it now this week and uh, and uh, people are withdrawing and people, uh, they want to feel the best at the Australian Open and that's what you play for. We play for the big tournaments. Um, you know, you want to try your best at every tournament, but if your body's not ready to play, then uh, obviously, you know, I would do the same. But uh, I'm feeling pretty well. So for my sake, I feel like I can perform well here and do well in this tournament. So maybe it's not the smartest uh, idea of playing the week before, especially if you're seated well. But if you're playing uh, as confident as I am, why not? You know. Last question, please. Can you tell us the same that the younger players now are really ready to be the big players now, like Djokovic, Federer, and Nadal, and Murray. You guys are all close, but you haven't been able to knock them down. Yeah, I mean. I mean, Novak's just a, it's just a joke now. It's not a, it's amazing what he's doing, huh? Um, it's just, that's the reason why he's the best player in the world. I think uh, even even Roger and uh, and Rafa, it's just, it's, when you step on the court against Novak now, it's like, how can you beat him, you know? Even even Rafa played that final in Doha. It was amazing tennis to watch, but it was so comfortable and on score. It just uh, just shows how much Novak is uh, is dominating the sport. So I think he's a different level, Novak now, and there's a reason why he's there. But I think closer and closer of these other players, there are a little bit more weaknesses and stuff. Uh, and uh, there's a reason why Novak's the best. No weaknesses. Uh, can't think of any. So he deserves to be there. I guess you be the it, it was. It was. And I think they played so many times. I think Rogers was 6-1 record or 5-1 against him. So I think that's also it's also a good sign for us, not just uh, for Milos winning that tournament. It gives us confidence stepping on the court against, against Federer, against Murray, and uh, uh, against these other guys, except Novak. <laughs>